I'm going to show you how to get all the collectibles in the Chamber of Ambidexterity in Star Wars Jedi Survivor. I'm also going to show you where it is. So in order to go to this one, you've got to go all the way over here to the Stone Spires, and you're going to want to go to the Grand Courtyard Meditation Point. Now, this is somewhere you'll go as part of the main story, so if you haven't gotten here yet, just do the main story. You'll get here eventually. You'll remember this place with all the crazy laser beams and giant cliffs and things. So from this one, you can see it clearly over here. If you head over this way, you'll see a box over there, and there's a cave down there. And that's where we're going to try to go. So we have to actually unlock it, though, because there's a little bit more to it than just going there. So you're going to go over here, and you're going to take this flyer. And you're going to turn to the left, and you're going to head over towards this beam right over here. And if, you've, if you're too high, you can just hold back and wait. And then I just went through the wall. Okay. All right, so we're going to go over to this one, interact with it. And you're going to look back to here. Uh, you will see the cube up there. That's how you know it's the right place. See those lines? Well, you're just going to want to put it anywhere around there. On the ground is fine. Uh, just right there will work. It's whichever way. Just as long as it's going to be on the ground or an immediate wall that you can access. Then after that, you got to do something tricky here. you got to go over to this flyer. And you've got to go and hit one of these vents. But then you're going to have way too much height. So what you're going to have to do is hit this vent... And then get over here and then hold back on the control stick or whatever, or just S if it's on a controller, or mouse and keyboard, I guess, in order to just hang and just wait and lose height. Otherwise, you'll fall to your death when you jump off. All right, and then like that, and you can jump down like this. Now, there are some enemies in here for you to fight. All right, so after you clear out those enemies, You'll see the thing that you had. Well, you're going to use BD, and you're going to do one of these trails like this. By this point in the game, you should have this if you can get here. I'm pretty sure. So go over to here, and it's hard to see it, but there's a wall right here. And you're going to clear that out. Other than that, though, we're just going to go here. There, well, that's an enemy I killed. That we're gonna that's not a collectible. All right, so you're going to head over here. So let me go back to the end so you can see clear. So if you're coming in, you're going to see these weird circles. To the right of them, there's a data disk, sure can decrypt this and then look at them again, and to the left of them right over here is something for BD to scan. And then after that, you're going to head over to that place that you just freed up, so from here, from coming in, you'll see the big circles go to the left. Be over here, and you can pick this up. And this is a pretty small chamber, so there's not a lot to it. That's actually everything to the chamber. I think getting to is more of the puzzle than the actual chamber itself. But that will get you the ambidexterity perk. And then when you want to leave, obviously, you're going to head out this way. And there's actually a flyer right here for you to take in order to get back. So that's it, guys. Hopefully it helped you out. Now you know where to find the Chamber of Ambidexterity and how to get 100% of the items in it, all collectibles and everything like that.